Hey guys, this is Pondo checking in once again from my garage gym. Today is February 12th, 2015, and today is going to be upper body day. Um, as uh, some of you know, uh, this week for me has been a deload week. Um, my thoughts on deload week is that it sucks. Um, a tip that I have, a little bro tip, uh, once again, is if, if you're going to deload, you know, do it maybe once every four weeks, six weeks, or eighth week of a heavy training cycle. It's really important, especially as you get older as you get uh, you know, more mature in your training career. Um, one way to get, keep things fun and interesting and deload week and keep you, um, you know, on the path is to do things that are um, fun. Uh, for me personally, I like to add in a lot more hypertrophy work. Um, today specifically, I'm gonna be doing a lot of dynamic effort work. Um, the, the purpose of basically deload is to decrease um, the intensity. Not necessarily, I don't think you really have to decrease the volume. You can still do a lot of work, a lot of um, sets, um, but you just don't really want to fry your central nervous system like you've been doing for the last month or two um, in your regular training cycle. So for today, my goal is going to be doing a lot of shoulders, um, a lot of chest, uh, triceps, a lot less intensity, but you know, I'm still going to be working on my form. I'm still going to be working on my speed um, and, and definitely going to uh, take something out of it. I'm gonna, not going to tax my body as much, but I'm still going to have as much fun as I usually do. So um, today is uh, bench press day, like I said. Um, we're gonna have some fun. Please do like, please do share my, and uh, help my uh, tiny little channel here on YouTube grow. Um, if you have any questions for me, recommendations on my form, things like that, please do put it in the comment section below and I'll get back to you. And if you frequent my channel, please do like, uh, share, and subscribe. Um, that would help me out a lot. All right guys, thanks for watching and uh, enjoy the workout.
So, um, I got a question asked recently on uh, my one of my other videos. It was asking basically what I took as a supplement. Um, not until very recently did I purchase uh, a supplement that I usually take daily. I want to just add a couple things in. Uh, earlier in my training career, I used to take a lot of supplements. You know, like the Jack 3D, the I know Explode, the first version of it. Um, after a while, I noticed pre-workouts especially kind of did a more of a negative for me in terms of um, outside the gym. You know, I couldn't sleep. Uh, there's a bit of ED um, also. Look it up. Um, and, you know, I just really wanted to minimize the amount of chemicals I was putting in my body. Especially things that would tax my, um, my you know, adrenal glands. Uh, basically, I don't want to be amped up all the time. So, um, things I pr actually purchase are just mainly for recovery. I don't really do anything but coffee pre-workout. So, first workout I do um, this shake. I do this shake uh, all the time, usually now. Um, so, basically, I wanted some big carbs in. I had some, some uh, oatmeal. Um, I like Synthesix, BSN Synthesix, just because it's the best tasting protein in my opinion. Uh, pretty good balance of protein, carbs, and aminos, things like that. Also, um, I noticed that I started take, since I started taking Animal Pack, I've been recovering a lot better. I've been sleeping better and I've just been generally feeling a lot better. Even though my uh, urine, my pee, is neon green every day, just because of all the excess vitamins that's coming out, I probably do have the most ex expensive pee out there. Um, this stuff is excellent. I notice a difference um, with energy and recovery. Um, I just bought these not too long ago. Uh, basically, it was for cheap at Vitamin Shop, so or Nutri Shop. Um, BCAAs and glutamine and um, creatine. So just the you know the vanilla plain Jane uh, monohydrate version. So basically, I just throw everything into uh, my Vitamix back there along with almond milk. Um, I'm allergic to milk. Um, a little tangent here, um, I noticed a lot of people, um, we're all, you know, allergic to something. Um, a lot of us are actually allergic to things like gluten and uh, milk. Um, you know, uh, ever since I started rooting out the problems, I realized that I was really allergic to milk. I would have these weird um, allergic reactions like uh, sinusitis, I would have psoriasis, things like that recently. So I, I started taking things out of my diet just to find out exactly what was causing it. And I found out that milk was a culprit. You know, I would have uh, diarrhea, things like that, which is kind of a nasty subject to go into. But anyways, um, you know, you might have uh, underlying allergy. Check it out. See what, um, what doesn't work for you. But anyways, that's basically my uh, post-workout mix. Um, good carbs, uh, a fruit, um, almond milk. I love almond milk. Um, protein, um, BCAAs, mono, uh, monohydrate creatine and some gluten. All right guys, so that's basically my post-workout nutrition. It's uh, emulsified by my Vitamix. So if you like the content, please like and subscribe, comment, and um, I'll get back to you guys. Peace out.